So as you can see, there's a fair degree of wind. And I wanted to see whether uh, placing a microphone under my collar would cut the rumble on the mic. So here we are down by the river. And as you see, pretty much wind. We'll see whether that gives much rumble in the microphone. I would like to get down and take more of a close-up, but as you see, the sidewalk is closed. Lots of wind. Uh, the reflections in the mill race are always lovely. Maybe on a windy day, even more lovely. How close will you let me go? Not very close. <laughs> so there is some bird song here. See if the mic can pick that up. I thought that this redbud tree was dead. It took a long time for it to get leaves this spring, uh, but as you see, it has some now. There's something going on with the bark, maybe an infestation of uh, some sort. And here come some people walking in the park. It's a perfect day for it. Here we are over near the Jasper Crane Rose Garden. Sparrow is singing out. Maybe we'll pick him up. And I wonder whether you can hear all that's going on here with some runners in the background and water falling in the foreground. What we hear depends a lot on what we're concentrating on. There's a lot of bird song here, but there's also the sound of traffic on I-95. <laughs> I took a picture about right here for the Quaker Journal, Quaker Voices. I like the tracks receding into the distance. Ah, now I see what they've been doing on this side of the creek. There come the two conduits for the water supply. They have laid those under Brandywine Creek. There in the background. <laughs> 